Hello everyone. Uh, in my last lecture, uh, we discussed about the steady state response. Today, uh, we will discuss about the complete response. So, this complete response is composed of two, two, two different parts. One is the steady state response, which is also called as the force of the zero state response. Another one is the transient response, or also called as the natural response of the zero input response. Let us start with one example. This is as you can see here, a series inductor circuit is given and in this circuit, the switch is closed at T is equal to 0. So, write the KVL equation here for T greater than 0 when the switch is closed, which is equal to V minus Ri minus L di by dt. Now, rearrange this equation, take uh, dt at one side and di at the other side and uh, take the integration at both the sides. So, when we take the integration, the constant term, the K comes here. And this constant is very important in this differential equation and we find out this uh, constant value from the initial condition. So at t is equal to 0, the current was 0. So apply the initial condition here and find out the value of k here. And once we get the value of k, put it into the KVL equation and again rearrange the equation. Now this equation uh, comes in the form of ln. Now take the exponential at both the side. After taking the exponential, we get the value of current here which is equal to V by R minus V by R E minus R by T. Here V by R is a steady state response and minus V by R exponential minus R by L T is the transient response. So here this current is the complete response of the circuit. 